in this video we are going to talk about integration by parts the integration by parts formula is like this integral u dv is equal to u times v minus integral v times du so when you do integration by parts method it is very important to know which one you are going to choose as u and which integrand you are going to choose as dv to select the integrand of u and dv we are going to follow a rule called liate so what is liate the letter l stands for logarithmic function the letter i stands for inverse trigonometric functions the letter a stands for algebraic functions the letter t stands for trigonometric functions and the letter a stands for exponential function so what is logarithmic function if i have log or natural logarithm ln then it is called logarithmic function what is inverse trigonometric functions if we have arc sin x or arc cos x or tan inverse of x or sin inverse of x then these are the things we call inverse trigonometric functions algebraic functions as you know it is like x or x power 2 or x power 3 x power 2 minus 1 some constant times multiple x etc if i have trigonometric functions then it should be in the form of sin x cosine 2 x sin x by 2 etc and finally we have exponential that is if i have a format called e power x e to the power minus x e to the power x by 2 then it is called exponential function so we are going to choose the order l i a t e to choose the integrand of u and dv let us discuss problem number one so here we have integral x into dx so as per the method l i a t e here we have x what is x x stands for algebraic functions so i have to choose u equal to x what is remaining the remaining will be dv so dv equal to e power x into dx okay so this is the question right so from this if i differentiate i will get du equal to dx from this if i integrate both side so that will give you v equal to e power x now let us substitute these values in the formula in the integration by parts formula so what is the formula integral uv minus integral v du so here my u will be x times v v will be e power x minus integral again for v e power x then we have du what is du du equal to dx so now the final answer will be x into e power x minus integral e power x we know that it's again e power x plus c let us move to question number two in question number two we have given integral x into sin x into dx once again by applying liate rule we know that u equal to x okay and dv is equal to sin x into dx that is we are comparing the left side of integration by parts formula so you need to know what is u and what is dv so it's done now from this part first one you will do the differentiation so you will get du equal to dx and here you will do the integration so integral dv will give you v integration of sine will give you minus cos x now substitute in the formula what is the formula uv minus integral v du so here u value is x times v v value is minus cos x minus of integral again minus cos x du changed by dx so we will get minus x cos x this minus this minus will give you plus integral cos x into dx so this will give you minus x cos x 
integration of cosine will be sine so that will give you sine x plus c here we have ln x into dx so by applying the rule l i e t e the first letter is l l stands for logarithmic function so here we have ln x so i have to choose u equal to ln x then what is my dv my dv equal to the remaining what is remaining here only dx now derivative of this will give you du equal to 1 over x dx integration of dv will be v and integration of dx will be x now let me substitute these values in the integration by parts formula so in place of u we have ln x in place of v we have x minus integral in place of v we have x in place of du we have 1 over x into dx so this x this x gets cancelled so we have x into ln x minus integral dx so my final answer will be x into ln x minus x plus c sometimes we need to apply integration by parts more than two times even three times etc so if you do two times or three times the problem will be very longer and it is very difficult sometimes to evaluate to avoid this complexity we are going to introduce a concept called tabular integration let me explain the concept of tabular integration with an example so here we have integral x power 2 e power x into dx so in the first column you have to write the value x power 2 in the next column you have to write e power x that is this one this x power 2 you write in the first column e power x you write in the second column and then you have to continuously differentiate this column so let me differentiate x power 2 will give you 2x then derivative of 2x will give you 2 then derivative of 2 will be 0 once you reach 0 stop the process then in the next column you have to integrate so you have to integrate e power x that will give you e power x again integration of e power x you have e power x again integration of e power x you have e power x because right and left hand side we have 1 2 3 4 so left right hand side also you should have 4 1 2 3 and 4 okay so left hand side we do differentiation and right hand side we do integration so as i told you if you reach zero you stop the process okay so after that what do you do after that you have to make a crass arrow this and this and then this then you have to start the symbol alternatively begin from plus then minus then plus etc so now multiply x power 2 and e power x with the symbol plus so we will get x power 2 e power x what is the next symbol the next symbol is minus so minus multiply 2x with this e power x so that will give you 2x e power x finally we have plus sign so write plus we have 2 and e power x so this will be 2 into e power x plus c you can also use another method let me explain that method also so whichever you feel easy you can apply in the exams so a while ago i explained the concept of tabular integration we have a formula it's called bernoulli's formula the formula goes like this u v1 minus u dash v2 plus 
plus u double dash v3 minus u triple dash v4 plus etc okay so here we have to write u what is u u is this one x power 2 so let me write x power 2 the next one v1 v1 means integration of v so this is u and this is v so i have to integrate this one so integration of e power x will give you e power x then what is the symbol here minus so write minus then u dash what is u dash derivative of u so here u equal to x power 2 so derivative of x power 2 will be 2x then integration of e power x will be e power x so we start from minus plus now we will write again plus then derivative of 2x will be 2 integration of e power x will be e power x minus derivative of 2 will be 0 integration of e power x will be e power x once you reach 0 stop the process so anyway this no need your final answer is like this x power 2 e power x minus 2x e power x plus 2 into e power x plus c so this is the final answer for example number 4 so here i have given you five questions with solutions try yourself see you in the next video